guys, welcome back to my kitchen. I hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, this is day, I don't even know what, I think it's day, month, somewhere around month two and a half, three um, of quarantine. And I've been super unmotivated to work out, to bake, to cook, but I just did a grocery run and I was on Pinterest and I was just kind of getting some inspiration on what I could make. So I wanted to make for you guys today something delicious, but I've been kind of on a healthy kick lately. So something delicious, but healthy. And what I'm making today is brownies. But not just any brownies, healthy brownies. And not just healthy brownies, zucchini brownies, which I know what you guys are thinking, maybe that sounds gross to you or you've never heard of it, but I promise you they are, oh, look at you just over here. I promise you that they are so delicious. The zucchini actually, you're not gonna end up with green brownies. The zucchini actually just makes the brownies super moist and like fudgy and delicious. I've made a zucchini banana muffins that are so, so good. So um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. All you need is oat flour. If you don't have oat flour, you just have rolled oats. Um, perfect, you could also use any flour, almond flour, normal flour, whole wheat flour, really whatever you want. Zucchinis, agave, you could use sugar instead, you could use coconut sugar, vanilla extract, butter. I'm doing chocolate chips, you can do dark chocolate if you wanna be healthier. I'm gonna do semi-sweet, cocoa powder, applesauce, applesauce, baking soda, and salt. And that's it. Maybe that sounds like a lot. I just started off by shredding my zucchini. Um, and as you can see, I tried to put it on a paper towel, but there is so much liquid in the zucchini, which is why I did it on a paper towel, is because I want to drain all the liquid out so that the brownie batter doesn't really like separate and get gross. So I've cut my zucchini. This is my last one. You're gonna need a cup and a half of zucchini. So I did around three zucchinis. You're gonna just take a grater and you're gonna grate it. You could also put this in a food processor, um, which may be faster or easier, but it might just turn to mush. So if you have a grater, try to grate it. Okay, that is a lot of zucchini. So I originally did them on this board, but as you can see, without even squeezing it, the amount of liquid that has soaked this paper towel, I mean, it's crazy. So take your zucchini in a paper towel and you're gonna squeeze it. I mean, you can't see, but the amount of liquid. Oh, that's his doggy doorbell. Winston! No, I literally just took him out before I started the vlog, I swear. I'm doing nothing, he never has to go to the bathroom and then I, I do a live or a vlog and he's like, I have to go to the bathroom. We got him this doggy doorbell and it's so amazing and it's awesome, it's the best invention ever because sometimes I like, I'm doing something and I forget to take him out but he does it just to like get a treat, I swear. He drinks it and like looks over at me when he wants attention. <laughs> There is zucchini juice everywhere. So I've got my shredded zucchini, about a cup and a half. Now I'm gonna get a big bowl. You could use a standing mixer. I'm gonna just use a hand mixer. You could probably even do this by like just yourself by hand. And we're gonna just start measuring out our ingredients. So I've already blended my oats. I've already, I bought oat flour. But if you don't have oat flour, you could just blend your oats in a blender or a food processor and it will grind it up nice and fine. Um, kind of what I use like with pancakes and stuff. And we're gonna need three fourth cups of baking like oat flour. Might have even overdone it on that. We're gonna lie, ball it. Three fourth cup of oat flour. I've got natural peanut butter. You're gonna need a half a cup of peanut butter. A lot of natural fat and oil and peanut butter, which is why it's great when you're baking and you're trying to make something healthy. It adds a lot of moisture and like richness and oiliness. Okay, so 
half a cup of peanut butter into the bowl, applesauce. This is unsweetened. You're gonna need a half cup of applesauce. Winston is like, like he really needs attention and he's jumping all over my legs right now. All right, so that was perfectly a half a cup of applesauce. So sweetener, we're using agave. You can use sugar, granulated coconut. You're gonna do a fourth cup of agave. And that is all my agave. I might actually have to grab some coconut sugar because that was barely even a fourth a cup. One teaspoon, I'm just gonna eyeball it. grab some coconut sugar. I got some coconut sugar. That was barely a fourth cup, so I'm gonna just do a little extra. So I actually really should have creamed these together before putting in the oat flour, but it's too late. So if you're watching this, first cream together all the liquids, so basically everything minus the oat flour. But uh, we didn't just do that, so. Tough cookies. <laughs> I'm gonna add in my zucchini. I'm gonna just give it a little mix. Okay, now this is when you would add in your oats, but I already did. So we're gonna do our cocoa powder. So that's what makes it brownies. Winston, um, a half a cup of cocoa powder. Half a cup. Mix that in. Tip. Use a bigger bowl so that it doesn't completely explode on you. I just wanted to scoop the sides down because you need to make sure it's all incorporated. All right, lastly is salt and baking soda. So the baking soda, the salt evens it out so it's not so salty or sweet. I'm gonna do a, a fourth teaspoon of salt. And the baking powder is really what makes it like fluffy and not so dense like a bagel, you know? We want fudgy, but we want fluffy. Oh my God. <laughs> One teaspoon of baking soda. Okay. And that's it. All right. Now we take off. Everything is so messy right now. Oh! 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 Three quarters of a cup. Since these are healthy, I'm doing semi sweet just so they add a little bit more sweetness. And I like to do extra chocolate chips. So I feel like that's like the best part. Hold it in. Honestly, I'm gonna more. Let's get real. Voila! So now we're gonna take, we've preheated our oven to 350 by the way. We're gonna grease a baking pan. I'm using a, this is actually kind of small. Let me grab another one. I would recommend like an eight by 13 and I just am not doing that because I like my brownies to be really thick kind of raw in the middle. So we're gonna do, this is like a little bit more square. Pour it in. Press it in. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna bake these for around 30, 25 to 30 minutes, depending on how raw you like them and gooey, and just also until a toothpick comes out clean. So I'll check back, I'm gonna try to clean up this mess and I'll check back with you guys in like 30 minutes. Okay, so the beeper just went off. And it just took 
came out of the oven. So they're very hot. Oh, look at how fudgy and delicious this smell. I am so excited to cut them up. I'm gonna let them cool for like 20 minutes, but oh my gosh, with some ice cream or just by itself, they're gonna be so good. Okay, so I could literally barely wait to see you eat these because I'm so excited. Just gonna grab a plate. Oh my gosh, they're so gooey. I can already tell that they're insane. Let me show you. Oh, do you see that gooeyness? Oh my god. Oh my god. Like, are you kidding me? Guilt free, insanely delicious, fudgy chocolate brownies. This is heaven. Okay, guys. Am I good? Do I have chocolate in my teeth? Thank you so much for tuning in. My vlog's a little sideways right now. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoy seeing this guilt-free, healthy brownie recipe. And don't forget to tag me when you make it because I love seeing your guys' creations. Um, I will repost you. So yeah, I hope you guys are staying safe, healthy, and I'll see you next time.